Zia Scaraval from ZK Research here. I'm back inside the WWT Hospitality Center at Dell Tech World. I'm back with Matt Holcomb from Worldwide Technology. Uh, and we, we just finished the discussion, in fact, with uh, both Dell and Intel, and I thought it would be good if we picked up on that. I think uh, we touched on a, a couple of interesting themes, but uh, I thought there was a few areas we could drive, drill down deeper, and that's uh, data and compute models, yes. right? So, so let's talk about that. So first of all, uh, uh, I, I do think one of the, the challenges our industry has had, and I, you know, I'm part of the media, so I perpetuate that, right, is we think in absolute terms, right? For a while, everything was on-prem, and then everything was moved to the cloud, and now we're talking about repatriation, and everything's moving back. Uh, but it's a middle ground, right? It, it's 100%. not one or the other, right? So talk about that, and then the role edge plays, but while you do that, define edge. Okay, so great topic. Um, the world doesn't live inside the four walls of the data center anymore, right? Um, we've expanded. But it out. doesn't not live there either. No, it, yeah. it still <laughs> is a part of it, but it's not the only part of it. That's the whole complexity that, that our customers are dealing with. Where do I run what, right? And what do I hold on to? And how do I process that data? Um, organizations are no longer run by experience and gut feelings. They're run. They're a data-driven world, right? And they're collecting data everywhere, right? A term used last week or a couple weeks ago at Intel Vision was still economy. So the bringing together of humanity and technology in this world of economy. Um, and, and, it's, and that's what we live in, right? So it's a, it's a data-driven world. Customers are trying to collect bits and bytes of data here, there, and everywhere, right? They're trying to be more prescriptive in what they're bringing to their customer and how do they drive their organization forward in a most effective and efficient ways, right? We, we talked around in the earlier around generation now, right? Organizations want to see, they want to see their organization moving in the right direction. They don't want to wait for two or three years to happen because then they're behind the curve. Um, and, and what we have to do is, 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 is the zettabytes of data that are out there, right? It, it can be used in many ways, but the key piece is how do I get, how do I make decisions from the data? How do I leverage? How do I build the models, right? I, I need the right technology in the right location. So whether that's the public cloud or whether I'm collecting that data at the edge and I need a decision made right then and there. I can't wait for the latency. It, it sounds fun for us to say that, right? The latency from the edge to the cloud or from the edge to my data center because I have to have actionable items happening as I'm doing computer vision, right? I'm not going to do that with just any sort of technology. I have to have the right technology in the right location, and, and then I have to be able to, to drive outcomes. Yeah, and it's, and it's about having the right data in the right locations, exactly. too. It's a, you know, you mentioned the zet zettabytes of data, and the wrong thing to do would be to try to replicate all your data everywhere. 100%, it's single source of truth, right? We talk around data locality and data sovereignty. You just can't move bits and bytes of data. Even on your local laptop, you're not really allowed to, to take that and put a USB drive on those anymore because we don't know what's going to happen to that data. That's how, that's how key that is. It, the data is the goal, right? And I look at it um, that we, we are going to collect zettabytes, but we're only going to hold on to, to the right data, right? And how do we get through the noise and just hold on to the right data? That's where we're going to have to help customers filter out all that zettabytes that they're collecting and then holding on to the right data, making the actual items, and then saving that data so that they can do combining uh, of different data stores, right? So whether it's a data lake, a data warehouse, a lake house, um, and then leverage the right technology that compute, whether it's running at the edge, in the public cloud, or on-prem, to, to, to go through that. So, so define what the edge is, though. That, and that is something, <laughs> in fact, I was talking to the CIO uh, the other day from a law firm, and we were talking about edge, and he goes, I don't really understand what, law, what edge is. Every vendor that sells edge, it sounds like it's something different. And as far as I can tell, it's just not cloud. And so when you think about edge, what does that mean to you? So at Worldwide Technology, when I, when I talk to customers, I try to keep it simple. Um, they understand on-prem. They understand their four walls of the data center. They understand a public cloud offering that's out there from all those vendors. And what I try to explain to them that the edge can be anything in between that public cloud and that on-prem data center. So we're talking cellular edge, yes. stadium edge, edge, enterprise edge, edge. cloud yeah. adjacent, right? Those are all edge locations. And it just depends on where you're, what data you're collecting and where you're collecting it at. It could be a cell tower, right? It could be as small as a camera sitting in a parking lot that you're, that you're monitoring cars coming in and out of, of, of a restricted area that maybe they not be. It could be a camera at an amusement park, right? So the restricted areas, you gotta keep people safe. They're not always, they're, they're, they're looking at technology that we spoke about all the time, and they're not always paying attention. Uh, we talked around self-driving vehicles, right? Will that make us safer? Yes, because 
the camera never blinks. The, 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 the machine never looks at its own phone, right? It's always well, on. To, it's well, always to me, that's the ultimate manifestation of edge, right? The decision as to whether that self-driving car should stop or not needs to be done in car. Yes. <laughs> right, sending it to and it the needs cloud to be done and back now, is too, right? right? And again, that's that, that whole data, the edge is required because we have to constantly, we talk around training, right? You, we hit on that earlier around inferencing and training, right? We, the, the more we train the model, the better the model gets. And, and that's why that edge is gonna be so important. So why don't I run everything at the edge? <sighs> because it's not cost effective. Right, um, we just don't have the technology yet there, and and, and to support it, right? You're going to hear about new technology that Dell's bringing to market this week around supporting it. So again, we spoke about it. You can't be myopic. It can't be just about hardware. It has to be about the entire stack of the solution, which includes um, updating that technology and keeping it running. And it it's a com complete solution, and it can't be just a component. Yeah, and I think the biggest mistake that I've seen the customers make is they try and determine what workloads to run where without understanding what the workload is. And when we were talking you know, between videos, I used the analogy that it, if I just came up to you and said, you know, is an electric car or a, or a pickup truck more efficient, right? It, and people would inherently say, well, something like a Toyota Prius. But what if I said, well, I want you to haul 5,000s of gravel across country. You can do that in one trip with the pickup truck, but it would take you hundreds of trips you know, with, with the, right? And so if you understand the workload that makes you, that exactly. helps educate you on where to run those workloads. It, it's not a ready, fire, aim world, right? You have to understand the, the, the challenges you're, you're being presented and you have to give it some thought. So at Worldwide Technology, we, we love the plan, execute, break away, right? So first let's understand what challenges we have and what, what does good look like, right? And so you're what actually talking about trying to help customers solve those business outcomes. Yes, right? it's all about a thought process, right? Let's go whiteboard a solution around the challenges that we have. And then we can put technology to help solve that software, silicone process, training of your people, right? A good idea done poorly is a bad idea. Right? We've seen a number of organizations just do what, what their competitor did because they thought it was the right answer, but uh, sometimes they're both making the same mistake. And, and if they just sometimes think it through, right? And that's where we leverage our Advanced Technology Center is to allow the customer to, to play out a couple different scenarios on, on how they would like to solve the challenges they have um, and do it in the most effective, efficient way. Yeah, and so you subscribe, so a few years ago when I first introduced Edge into my research, I had written a, a post from one of the public media sites on the concept that eventually we won't think about public-private uh, cloud and Edge. We would think of it more as just one big distributed compute yes. uh, architecture where it's one, uh, I suppose, logical uh, compute fabric, but it's composed of different types of compute exactly. solutions. Exactly. Yeah. Again, it, it's a mixture <clears throat> of security, it's a mixture of networking, um, it's a mixture of automation orchestration, right? And, and it's all done prescriptively um, to help solve the problem. So how far away we are, are we from that, you think? I think, I don't know if we'll ever get there, right? It's a journey, Yeah. right? And we're continuing, the, the, when I talk to people on technology, for some that are, that, that, that are two-dimensional thinking, right? They'll, they'll look at me and say, look, you're solving the same problem. It's very cyclical of what you're doing. And what I try to get them to understand that if we get them to think three-dimensional, we'll take that two-dimensional, what looks very circular, circular, and it looks like a spring because we're literally driving forward. We may be solving the same problems, but we're doing it in a different, more efficient, more sustainable way. And we're doing it in different areas, right? So I don't think we're ever gonna stop progressing with the technology. It's just going to continue on and it, it builds upon itself. And if you're not staying modern with what you have in your environment, it's going to be real hard for you to catch back up. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we are here at uh, Dell Tech World and I uh, want to ask you one final question. So for, uh, and this isn't just for Dell customers, obviously it's for anybody, but uh, obviously Dell launched a number of new products. And so as companies are looking at modernizing infrastructure, uh, what are some of the recommendations you make on uh, how they know, you know, what to buy and where to deploy cloud and what type of architecture to use? Have a conversation. Get a group of people together, not just a single business unit, right? Allow an organization like Worldwide Technology to come have a sit down. We, we're working with hundreds of customers, um, sometimes even their competitors. And we're not going to share their industry secrets, but we can offer advice, right? Where have we seen things work? Where have we seen things not work? Um, 
why try to run through a wall when we can offer you up an, a, a way around a, a roadblock that could be in your way? And that's uh, just talk. And, and Worldwide's here t to listen to what you have to say and help guide you on this path. We're not gonna tell you what you should do because you need to figure out for yourself what's right for you as a customer. We're just gonna help make sure and enable, right? That's a big word that I think we all need to do, is help enable them on their journey. And, and that's how we, that's how we come together. We're, we're more consulted around offering up different opportunities or, or different ways in which doing things. Sometimes things that we never even thought about. You gotta think outside the box. Let's throw some ideas out there. Let's get a room full of really yeah. smart people and let's just, let's see what we can come up with. Right? But you can bring the experience to bear from other 100%. customers, but also, as you mentioned with your advanced technology center, customers that can actually try some of these, yes. see how they run before they buy. Exactly, and then that's the key part, right? Is how do we, how do we take some of the the worry, right? Uh, the fun thing that I like to say is that innovation is great, right? But innovating in your own data center can be dangerous. It can be a resume generating event. Um, don't do that. Come innovate in our advanced technology center and then go execute in your environment. All right, Matt. Uh, well, Matt Holcomb from Worldwide Technology. Uh, thanks very much for the interview. I think in summary, uh, back in, I think it was the late 1800s, somebody coined the term measure twice, cut once uh, to describe the process of making clothes. I think uh, we live by that in technology today. If you're not trying the technology first, understanding how it fits in your environment, you're going to go through a lot of pain and a lot of ex extended costs as you get to that, that next step of your journey. So on behalf of Matt, I'm Zias Caravallo from CK Research. Thanks for watching.